the biggest thing about sim racing is that everybody thinks that uh, a Gran Turismo for the PlayStation or a Forza on the Xbox is called sim racing. Um, well, there's a whole different level above that that goes into way more detail than just sitting at your couch with a controller and going on. Well, the racing started uh, pretty much when I was around four years old. My dad was into racing and uh, as a little guy, you go with him to the racing track. You, you enjoy those moments and you get to the point where you start racing pretty much everything yourself. If that's a bicycle or um, a Flintstone-like car, you, you just you, you go with it, you race it and you do it all day long. And then for my eighth birthday, I got a, I got a go-kart. That ended up being an eighth year long journey, um, but it stopped when I was 16 years old and then um, you get to the point you search for a replacement because you still got that racing feeling inside you want to go on but there's not the option or the route available you want to go um, and then I found out about sim racing and well that's that's already nine years ago now but that seriously to, took off the last uh, the last few years just like a real Formula One team we've got engineers we've got media person we've got everything attached like a real thing will have and then you come down to the driving into the simulator itself the whole driving feeling the driving inputs the setup changes everything you need to do in a real car we do it on the simulator what what the current guys in formula one do on track we do it on the computer and we go into just as much as detail and world fastest gamer has been put into different platforms we've had the forza qualifiers we had the i racing we had r factor 2 and that's where my bell started to ring because I'm 100% I'm off factor two guy. I went into the first week um, with not many practice and I was just hoping to get into the first qualifier evening. Um, actually got quite lucky getting in there and then won, won that night and suddenly you get the big stamp on your forehead as being the guy who's going to win it. Because like the, the first week they say everyone's in that one because everyone wants to qualify as soon as possible and be safe. Uh, winning that one they, they mark you as a favourite but then Going into the final, I was lucky to, well lucky, I was in the position to capitalize on it and win that one as well. And look where we are now. Six. Well, if, it, if, if my life would be about sim racing only, then the approach would change. But currently I do think that having a social life next to it is one of the priorities as well. I just work nine to five. I love to work out. I do that for about five days a week. And then you've got sim racing. You've all got to fit that together. Um, and I think with sim racing, if you're really good at it, you get to a point where you can capitalize on a little practice and just doing very good practice. Like you know your own method that works and you can drive 100 laps or 1000 laps, but if you hit your own barrier, if you're good, you're good. Well, the final of the world's fastest game is going to be a really difficult thing because you've got to do so many different things. If it would be just about who can drive the quickest hot lap, like one lap around a circuit, you know how to approach it. But now you get so many different aspects you get tested on from, like I said, from fitness to media to five different games. And then in the end, a little amount of us from, from the 12 will be picked to drive in the actual real Formula 1 simulator, like the real, real thing. Not all of us will do. They're, they'll pre-select well being there all week and then get to the point where you might be able to drive it. So it's hard to make predictions, but, but I'm not gonna lie, I'll be very disappointed if I don't make it to the point of being the real simulator, because that's actually the real, real goal of it, just having that one single shot in the thing that comes the most close, simulator-wise, to a real Formula One car. No, my dad is not connected to racing uh, racing anymore. He watches it, he watches the, the streams online if I send it to him and that's pretty much it. He had his fair share of deal and he's a car mechanic nowadays but that's as much as he gets to cars. He tried a simulator a few times at home and he, it, it just doesn't suit him. He, he did his period with all the go-karting and helping me there and now it's just uh, pure fan-wise. I think with the area exploding at the moment and myself being in the picture at this point just because of the competition this is the right time to start exploring it and hopefully get into a point where I could make the monthly payment done just by sim racing. Thanks a lot for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it 
And if you want to see videos like this one, from different games even, please subscribe. We love you.